afternoon and welcome to this week's Five in Five, the place where you go to get five things you need to know in five minutes or less. If we want to get it done in under five minutes, we better get started. I'm Reverend Christopher Rowe. I have the privilege of serving as the executive minister here at Fountain Street Church. And on behalf of everyone who calls this place their spiritual home, welcome to this week's Five in Five, a place you go to feel a little bit more connected to what's going on in our community. Let's get started. First and foremost, you are invited to the grounding experience. That is this evening at 6.30 p.m. You can access the grounding through the email that I sent out. There's a link at the bottom that will get you right into this interactive and engaging worship experience. Reverends Matthew and Greta Jo invite you, as you are, to join in this, and particularly during this Advent season. For more information, see the body of the email. Again, that's at 6.30 with Reverends Matthew and Greta Jo, an interactive experience through Zoom. The grounding isn't the only way that you can connect with other Fountain Streeters and yourself during this Advent season. We are trying to roll out a whole host of different ways that you can feel more connected during Advent this year. One of the ways that's new and a fresh start for all of us is the online Mystery of Darkness video series that Jean Bailey is reciting for all of us. You can find that on the YouTube page and I've actually included a link at the bottom of your email. Additionally, we have the Advent Calendar. That can be found as an attachment in this email and that is an interactive and engaging way for you to feel more connected with both Fountain Street Church and the Advent season. Look to both of those things as a resource for you during the Advent 2020 season. Everyone is invited to this year's Blue Holidays service. That will be on December 20th at 4 p.m. For more information on what a Blue Holiday service is and how you can be a part of it, please check out the body of the email. There's more information there as well as the Zoom link that will be used the evening of the service. All are welcome as you are and you are encouraged to invite others who might take meaning and solace from this beautiful service. Have you sent in your pledge card yet? We have been so overwhelmed by how many of you have, and we are just over halfway there. So if you haven't, please take the time to send in your pledge. You can mail it, or you can even email it down to the church if you've lost your uh, physical one. So please take time to contribute to the flourishing of our ecosystem and help us keep nudging towards our goal by sending in your pledge. And to those of you who have, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your steadfast commitment to seeing this institution and this congregation flourish into the future. Thank you all. I want to invite all of you to stay tuned throughout the month of December. Every week we will be rolling out additional announcements for ways in which you can connect with the congregation and feel more connected to the holiday season. As a lover of Christmas and of Advent, I totally understand how difficult this season is being so disconnected and diasporate physically. And so we want to keep bridging those gaps between the congregation and you and one another. So please, Take special care to watch your email box throughout the month and look out for more information and announcements, including in the five and five, for ways in which you can feel more connected to the holiday aesthetic of Fountain Street Church. I hear that a surprise concert or a playlist or even a real life, socially distanced, virtual candlelight service is possible but you must stay tuned and keep watching for more news and information coming to us from Found Street Church. Beloved, I hope you continue to take care, to stay healthy and remain resilient. It is still the first week of Advent, the week of faith, and I have faith. I have faith in our community, I have faith in science, and I have faith in humanity that we are getting through this. I remember when COVID seemed like a distant idea. I remember when 2020 seemed like an insurmountable year, and yet here we are in the final throngs of the year, a year many of us didn't think we'd make it through, and here we are. And so on behalf of everyone who calls this temple of faith their spiritual home, and on behalf of the staff and the clergy team, know how much we miss you and how much faith we have in you and in our collective community together. Until we see each other again, and until next week's Five and Five, stay healthy, be whole, and remain resilient, my friends. I miss you all.